So here we have Izzy. Izzy is a normal Western hog nose, but she's carrying the hats 50% albino, 66% toffee belly. As you can see, she is the calmest snake on the planet and just gorgeous and just happiest content in my hands. This is what I love her so much. She's also my anxiety snake. I suffer with anxiety. And can you see why? Can you see why she is my anxiety snake? Just look at her. Just look at her. I would be surprised if she just don't curl around. Oh, come to say hello, are we? Come to say hello. And that's literally what she does. She is the best snake in the world. Such a derpy little thing. Currently on a hunger strike at the moment. She hasn't fed for about six weeks. Only losing the gram in that time. Come on, baby. I'm trying to get you through my fingers. And this is a true example of why Western hog noses are the best pets. They can live for a long time though. So be prepared to be with, with your snake for up to 20 to 25 years. Sometimes longer in some cases. And that's how long they live. Um, easy to care for really. They look after their self. You keep them on Aspen or they can sell bedding. And they generally do most of the work for you. During shed, putting in a moist hide with sphagnum moss is a pretty good idea. As um, they'll just use that to soften their skin. Obviously get the shed off in one go. I've always done it with this one. But I know people that have had successful sheds without any hide or sides. Always keep the humid hide with the moss on the cold side. That is key. And always make sure they've got fresh, clean water. That's vital for them too. I keep this snake at 31 Celsius in temperature. I go by Celsius, not Fahrenheit. God knows what Fahrenheit is. But that's what I keep mine at. And she's in that. Oi, be social, you. Hey. Therapy. She just gets. That's what I mean. She just gets so relaxed. Look. Literally. And for those who are watching, these are a mildly venomous rear fang snake. Um, for the most part, if it bites you and latches on and, and, and gnaws on you for any considerable time, it might give you a bit of bored hand swelling. Um, if you're allergic, 
you know, a trip to the hospital could be in order. But you would be subscribed to antihistamines and special antihistamines that I had. And uh, she, she knows I'm talking about uh, special antihistamines. And um, oh, would, well, within three or four days, you'd be all good again. All good to go. Come on. Let me get comfortable with my hand. There, that's better. Yeah, but, you know, bites from these are really rare. They, if, they'd rather strike at you with a mouth shut than bite you. This one's done that to me before. Another cool feature of a hook nose is they can kind of hood up like a cobra. Um... And that if feel if they feel at all threatened to a high degree, they can flip over on the back. They, well, they will. They'll flip over on the back, and they'll they'll have the tongue stuck out. And if you roll it back over the right way up, it'll flip right back upside down. But that's not cool to test. That it's never cool to stress a snake out intentionally. Look how derpy this snake is, eh? Absolutely love her. I could film her for hours and hours and hours and I wouldn't get bored. Look at the face. Look at that little face there, look. <laughs> she's like are you filming me mister I'm not too happy with that this is all she does I mean for the best part this is what she does you could I wouldn't say you could give me any any, any snake in the world but it takes something fantastic for me to part with this guy. Well, I wouldn't. Not on your Nelly, I wouldn't. You'd never. I don't think you'd get another another hog nose like her. She's just. She's just amazing. Like. I do handle her a lot. I mean, most days I get her out. And if I don't, she soaks. Like, she soaks. And if I don't get her out for a few days, I get a hiss. If I get her out every day. She's loving life. So those who say a hook nose don't like to be handled, I, I, I kind of tend to disagree. Each to their own. I mean, yours might not like being handled. However, mine adores it. Look at the coloration. She's just... What are you doing, girl? Hey, what are you doing? Are you gonna just you gonna be a ring? Come on then. Come on, come on there then. That's better. She's just come on, Derpy Burpy. I've called her Izzy, um, because and I know it's controversial, but the first pet I had was a hamster, and I mean, well, it wasn't the first pet actually. What are you doing? But anyway, I had a hamster and I called it my hamster Izzy. And it was the tamest, most loveliest thing in the world. And as soon as I got this one home, I named her Izzy. And she's she's just she's just like my hamster, so tame. Izzy never hissed well never hissed. <laughs> never any hamsters could hiss. Izzy my hamster when I had my hamster. Never 
cereal lamps that never attempted to bite me. It was the softest little thing ever. She's the same, like... I never in a million years think she'll bite me. Unless she's quite hungry and so feed and response bite. Well, any snake can do that. My corn snake, that's never ever bit me done that a few weeks back. Totally my fault. Most bites are usually the owner's fault. Right, come on then, get a grip. Is is he baby? Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all soon. Night night. Have a good one.